I have the hiccups, so this is probably not gonna go down very well, but really quickly, before I begin, <clears throat> or before the video begins, um, I forgot to mention in my intro that someone in my compound is, fuck, this is so annoying, someone in my compound is uh, fixing their house apparently, because nobody here is ever happy with their the state of their ho house, so <laughs> if you hear drilling, I apologize apologize I apologize okay I'm gonna I'm gonna I have I have to start editing so I couldn't film this another time but I'm just gonna go and deal with these hiccups because it's kind of ridiculous I don't think I've ever had such a violent case of the hiccups okay bye <laughs> let's see if I keep if if I keep filming <gasps> Oh, there we go. Okay, that's what I was waiting for. I was waiting for an actual audible hiccup because I, I, I stifled them too well. And now you can believe me that I actually have the hiccups. Okay, this is... Ah! <sighs> I have to perform tonight. What if they don't stop? <laughs> okay, bye. For real this time. Hey everybody, it's Hexa, and today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial for this look. It's called the Purple Dreams makeup tutorial look thing. Um, yeah, I don't know, I've been really feeling the purple recently, and I created this look a couple weeks ago, and I decided to recreate it for this tutorial because I just loved it. Probably next week I will be posting another tutorial similar to this one, and it's going to be called the Purple Nightmare Tutorial, uh, and it's basically just going to be a similar tutorial to this, like same kind of purple theme, but darker and more vampy and creepy. So purple dreams versus purple nightmare. We'll see whichever one you like more. All right, before I start rambling, let's get into this. As you can see, my foundation and my brows are already done, so I'm just going to zoom you guys in and start straight on the eyes. First up, we're going to start with the Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons palette, and I'm going to be going in with the shade Almond Truffle right up here. Using a fluffy blending brush or crease brush, I'm just going to be putting that into my crease. Next up, I'm grabbing the shade Mocha on this angled contour brush. That's going to be going into the outer V. I'm also going to be using Mocha under my lower lash line. Next up, I'm just going to grab a tiny bit of the shade Malted, and I'm going to use that kind of like really close to the lash line to darken it up a bit and add some dimension. And now I'm using more of Mocha to kind of just blend it all together. Okay, now we're going to be adding our pop of color. I'm using the shade Omen, which is this light purple from the Urban Decay Urban Spectrum palette, and I'm just going to grab that on my finger. It's this really, really nice um, iridescent duochrome purple, so it's like a lilac with a blue kind of glow. And I'm just patting that all over the center of the lid. Now we're going back in with Almond Truffle just to kind of like bring that all together. I'm putting some of Almond Truffle on the lower lash line as well. Last but not least for the eyeshadow, I'm going to be using Satin Sheets, and I'm going to put that on the brow bone and in the inner corner as a highlight. Okay. 
Next up, I'm gonna be using the Tarte Precision Long Wear Liner. It looks like this, and it is probably my favorite eyeliner that I've ever used. And I'm just gonna be using that to create a wing. Now that we've got our winged eyeliner down, I'm also going to be applying some eyeliner to the lower waterline. I'm using the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil, and this is the shade Vice. To top that all off, I'm just going to be going in with my Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. All right, and now our eyes are complete. Okay, now it's time for the rest of our face. Um, it's super loud outside. I don't know if you guys can hear the drilling, but it's they're just being crazy. But anyways, for contour and bronzer together, as per usual, which is not very professional of me, but oh well, um, we're going to be using the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer, which smells like chocolate and is amazing. Next up, I'm taking out my Love Flush Blush Palette by Too Faced, and I'm going to be using the shade Your Love is King, because it's a bit purpley, so it matches this look perfectly. Be really careful with this, apply it super lightly, because this is a very pigmented blush. All of the Too Faced blushes from this palette are super, super pigmented. Next, for highlight, we're doing something a little bit special and a little bit different. I'm going to be using the shade Frostine from Sugar Pill. This is their Sparkle Baby palette, which is unfortunately now discontinued, but the shade still exists, so you can still buy Frostine individually. And it looks like it's just purple, but it actually has a little bit of iridescent kind of like not quite a shimmer, but it, it just has some kind of pearly something going on. So I'm going to use this as a really, really subtle highlight. If you want to use more of it, you can, but too much of this will give you kind of like a, a bit of a creepy look. And I kind of, I, I want to look ethereal, but I don't want it to be too crazy. So looking like a fairy, but a really shy fairy. Always start with the nose. The nose is just wonderful. Uh, but I feel like you can't really see the highlight on the camera very well. I hope you can. Now that we've got our fairy glow, the last thing to do is lips. For lipstick, I'm going to be using the Kat Von D Studded Kiss Lipstick in the shade Wolf's Mouth. It's like a metallic berry shade, so it's like a... it's a bit purpley. So, purple. Just purple. <laughs> uh, I could have used a lip liner for this, but I don't have one that's cruelty-free, so I decided to just pass and just go roll with it. 
Just zooming you guys in on the lips. And now that we've got this beautiful base down, I'm gonna be going in with more of frosting and just gonna press that into the center of my lip to create this really cool purple shimmer in the middle of it. This is totally optional, but I like to spice things up a bit. Alrighty, and lips are also done. And this is the final look. I hope you guys like it. It's, I don't know, I've, I've really been digging the purple and it looks pretty good, in my opinion. I really like wearing this look and I think it's, you know, special enough for special occasions, but it's also toned down enough that it works for everyday wear. So if you have time to do this every single day, then go ahead. As always, all of the products that I've used in this tutorial will be listed somewhere down below in the description box. If you liked this video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter for more. I always forget Twitter. <laughs> and you can also find the link to my Patreon down below if you want to donate to my channel and support me and my channel together. <laughs> Before I go, this is the Purple Dreams makeup tutorial because it's like kind of ethereal and dreamy and fairy-like. Uh, but I will also be doing a Purple Nightmare tutorial, uh, also in a very similar style to this, but darker and a bit more vampy and creepy. I've already posted a picture of that look on my Instagram, so if you want to go check it out, you can go do that. Uh, but yeah, I'm just going to recreate that look and give you guys a more vampy version of this makeup tutorial. Thanks again for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!